Hello once again, uh, it's Phil Jacobus again here with Healthcare Business News and today I'm joined by my good friend Ron, Ronnie Taylor, who is the President and C, uh, CEO of SVSR. Ronnie, thanks for joining Healthcare Business News today. Thank you so much for inviting me. So uh, Ronnie Taylor has a business in Harmony, North Carolina that uh, serve, builds uh, trailers and services, mobile uh, trailers and all sorts of mobile devices. Ronnie, how, and, and also he has a relationship with Lambo, a company in Netherlands that builds trailers in Europe. Uh, Ronnie, how is the uh, pandemic impacting things in Harmony, North Carolina? Actually, little to no effect, um, thank goodness. Uh, seems to be pretty healthy in this area with uh, not, not very many cases that we've heard about. All our employees are working, um, no, no sicknesses. So really we're doing quite well blessed. Have you done anything to, uh, what sort of social distancing or, or new policies have you put in place for the company? Definitely sanitizing and cleaning um, several times a day, uh, having our employees take precautions, um, doing everything we can to make sure that uh, everybody washes their hands and, and takes the precautions. Okay. Um, now, I know uh, that you work on trailers and generators and air conditioners and in addition to your manufacturing there. How is the uh, pandemic impacting the mobile business? We are still working every day. Of course, these units don't get shut off. So we are still servicing, still repairing, uh, traveling all over the country and making repairs. Um, our business has increased tremendously. We haven't really been affected uh, as far as business loss. Uh, so we, we still do about the same thing we do. One of the things I should have mentioned that we do, uh, that we have changed is all the coaches that come in when the customer allows, we always sanitize them before we actually get on them and, and before they leave so that when it gets to the site that uh, the coaches are safe for the customers and patients. I see. Uh, what about the relationship with uh, Lambo, the, the company in the Netherlands. Uh, I know that you import some of their panels. Has that been more difficult? Uh, no, sir. Actually, we had already had uh, several backup panels shipped in. We have more coming. Uh, anything that we've had shipped in, it has not been a, an issue. Uh, we have had some of our suppliers that have shut down and caused delays in delivering our equipment because uh, they might, might have had the virus in their plant and shut down for a few weeks, but uh, they're back up running now. They're behind a little bit on getting our parts, but things are improving. How about the generator and HVAC equipment? Is that is there a backlog on that stuff? No, sir. Um, actually, the virus is causing some of the customers for my vendors my AC supplier and uh, generators that have lessened for them. So that's made it easier for us to get the components. I see. How about the companies that move trailers, the independent uh, transit companies? Are, are, is that business staying uh, the same? I think it's diminished quite a bit. We, we have uh, capabilities of storing about 38 trailers here on power now that that has increased tremendously because the trailers are no longer on routes hospitals aren't doing as much as many scans as they used to so our our facility is full uh, for the trailers which, which is a good thing because that uh, the trailers that come in they, they need repairs and the companies are letting us make the repairs while they're sitting here so uh, the transportation business definitely has diminished now, what about the market for mobile uh, imaging equipment? Do you think that's going to remain the same, uh, be reduced or increased? I know on the mobile side, we are building more trailers than we ever have. Uh, and it's the whole, um, 
a whole range of MR, PET CT, CT, all of that. Uh, we've got orders, multiple orders in building new trailers. So that has picked up. I see. And uh, hospitals that have fixed site mobile situations, are they returning them or are they keeping them in place? Do you know? A lot of them have been incorporated to use them on the COVID scans. So they're, they're keeping what they have. Now, my cust customers that r have the rentals, uh, their business has dropped considerably, but the, the ones that's on site are still scanning. Uh, with the trailers you have on site, I know that uh, you must need to load helium from time to time. Do you have any visibility into helium prices? That is not part of what I do. I, I don't actually do the field. My customers handle that. So as far as that, I, I don't deal don't with that. Know. Okay. Well, um, Ronnie, you're a special guy uh, and and you have a special staff there. I know that your family, uh, I can't leave without asking about your dad. How old is your dad now? I forget. He just turned 85 in February. He's still doing the refrigeration service calls every day and had the pleasure. Um, he is restoring a 1955 Buick Century. And I, he and I went across the mountain over to Elizabethton, Tennessee and took took his bumpers over there to have them re -chrome. So I got to spend most of the day with him yesterday and had a great time with him. He's doing very well. Well, you know, if you get the chance to watch Medi Small's uh, interview, earlier this week, you'll see that he has a 1946 Buick that he's renovating in uh, Denmark. Wow, I'll definitely look that up. Ronnie, you're a special guy. Uh, it's great to uh, thank you so much for joining us and regards to uh, your, your wife and your staff and of course your dad.